This is the Guilty Gear Strive character breakdown for Anji Mito. An elegant dancer returns to the Guilty Gear series and is considered one of the easiest characters to pick up in Strive. Using his fans and graceful dance moves, you'll be twirling into GG's with Anji. Anji is a character focused on patience and pressure, using moves that make opponents guess what to do and punishing them for the wrong choice. While most characters have the mobility to overwhelm their opponent, Anji's mobility focuses more on using his Sugetsu no Hakubi, or Twirl Special, to go through opponent's moves and steal back his turn. Although most of his normal buttons are honest and don't give you too many ways to open an opponent, Anji possesses a few key moves that are important for applying pressure. Crouching Kick into Crouch Dust, Crouch Heavy, and his throw. Crouching Kick into Crouching Dust creates a poke that will catch your opponent off guard. The crouching dust part of that sequence also creates a frame trap. Frame traps will stop your opponent from taking their turn and punish them if they do. They won't be able to do anything but block during these normals. Anji's crouching heavy is the key to get the most optimal setups to hit confirm off of, as it lets Anji connect his special move Ko to continue a full corner carry and wall break. Not only is it a great way to get the most damage, but it can also frame trap your opponents, causing a counter hit to add even more damage and combo potential. While powerful and essential, Crouching Heavy is also one of Anji's slowest moves. Be sure to use it to continue combos and not as a combo starter. Anji's throw is arguably his most important normal attack. It is one of the few ways to set up the Shitsu special, also known as Butterfly. The throw will cause a hard knockdown, and it can also be used as a follow-up off of Anji's twirl, or to create a strike throw mix-up after Fujin into Isukutobi. Fujin is Anji's bread and butter. One of the reasons why Anji is welcoming to new players is the simple game plan of ending combos with Fujin. Not only can you hold Fujin to activate an auto guard, but you can cancel immediately into one of his follow-ups using the element of surprise and with punishing your opponent. Fujin can lead to either of four follow-ups. Nagiha, a low sweep that is his safest and most important conditioning tool. Shin Ichishiki, a frame trap that throws a fan and resets pressure on your opponent. With the proper spacing, you can force your opponent's DP to whiff and create mind games with Roman cancels. Isikotopi, a hop that advances you closer to the opponent and can catch them off guard. Rain, an overhead that can lead to big damage once you juggle or whiff punish your opponent. Careful with this move though, as your opponent can easily react to blocking this overhead and fully punish you for it. Fuji presents you many options, and it will take practice to understand the situations where each follow-up applies best. Anji's twirl, Sigetsu no Hakubi, is his most unique tool. It is an auto-parry that allows him to go through the opponent's moves and steal his turn. Sigetsu no Hakubi is best used when your opponent is constantly throwing out moves, or when you know they're trying to steal their turn back. You can create a mind game with Anji's twirl as well as with Ko when Fujin, since both of these moves start with him twirling. Be careful about using this move so openly, as your opponent can go for a grab or punish you with a counter hit after the move ends. Ko is a move designed to be his dragon punch, or DP. Unlike the rest of the cast, this DP will actually catch airborne opponents, and is easy to use as an anti-air. It can also guard crush your opponent, leading to pressure that will make your opponent scared to press a button. If Anji uses his crouching dust sweep, it can connect to Ko for a nice chunky damage corner carry, or into Fuji for a loop that can overwhelm your opponent. Ko can be used to create wall bounce combos that can lead into some big damage and are capable of wall breaking. The connection into Jump Slash or Jump Dust after Ko allow creativity with damage. Shitsu, commonly known as Butterfly, is Anji's only projectile. It creates pressure by allowing Anji to initiate his Strike Throw mix-up after conditioning his opponent to respect the projectile. You can use Butterfly to create different types of situations like Strike Throw or a Fuzzy that will make it difficult for your opponent to block and guess. While it has a very decent speed to it, make sure to use it after a hard knockdown, or you'll risk getting counter hit. Usually, Anji's throw, a co-ender, or an overdrive ender will result in a hard knockdown and allow you to set up butterfly. Issei Ogisai is a hit confirmable overdrive that allows you to break the wall and set up a butterfly. Since it's considered a projectile, you can roman cancel it and follow up with Anji's close slash, crouching dust, and Ko for that extra style and optimal damage. Kajuo Fugetsu Kai is Anji's reversal super. 
Surprise your opponent with a glorious dance as you catch them off guard and deal deadly damage. Throws will beat this overdrive, so make sure to use it wisely against characters that will try to grab you. Anji Mito is a character whose graceful dance will keep all eyes on him and help every player perform their best. Perfect Anji's game plan of conditioning and patience and dazzle your opponents in the Guilty Gear Strive open series. Go to compete.playstation.com or sign up in-game. PlayStation.